when did you first learn that you were starting that game last night, Nick? Um, the Really the day before the game. I uh, wasn't exactly sure how it was going to go uh, through the week. I was preparing to start, but I didn't know. And then uh, before the game, I learned I was starting and um, just had to go do it. So you got an inkling of the possibility on Wednesday, but truly did not know you were going to start until, what, 90 minutes before, for real? Um, no, probably a little bit before that, but I was just, whenever I was told. <laughs> okay, so you're told, and then you go out, and what what did you tell yourself as you trotted out onto the field for the first time, and it was a nationally televised game in a big Bay Area rivalry? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was just focus. Uh, focus on what matters, and the only thing that mattered is how we played on the field. And uh, so that's just what I kept telling myself all game long. And uh, I thought we did a great job of staying focused all game long. And it uh, worked out well for us. And how did Shanahan coach you up throughout the process, Nick? What was that coach-quarterback relationship like? Uh, he was great. You know, he obviously – um, he really didn't change the playbook, to be honest. I thought that was a cool thing. You know, he let me go command the offense, um, gave me a lot of freedom, let me make good decisions, and uh, put me in good – positions to succeed so um he definitely called a great game and let me have success when you say give you freedom what what sort of freedom are you talking about i just didn't alter the playbook and i was very appreciative of that you know he is he had confidence that i knew the system and i was ready to operate and i was so i definitely appreciate him believing in me did you check out of a play did you did you go a little omaha on him last night oh no nothing uh, nothing too crazy like that <laughs> <laughs> so got the play run the play and then uh, you were successful more more often than not uh what was your phone like when you got back to it last night uh it was it was pretty crowded for sure uh, i have a lot of people back home that support me and uh so that was pretty cool to see i haven't gone all the way through it yet and i don't know if i will but I'm definitely appreciative of all the support that uh, I've gotten and it, the whole 49 organizations gotten over these past 24 hours. So what was the number of texts? What was the number? Um, 500. No, oh, come on. Oh, whoa. Five, you had 500 texts on your phone when you got back to it after Thursday Night Football. Oh, yes, sir, I did. Wow. You're a popular guy, Nick Mullins. You are a popular uh -huh. guy. I guess. Uh, I guess so. Fantastic. Okay. And, and I noticed that you got emotional with Aaron Andrews afterwards. What were you, what was going through your temples uh, when you were talking post game last night on Fox? Uh, really just, I was glad we got the win. It's everything that we worked for. Uh, the season has been a grind so far. And uh, so just the way we worked to get this win, uh, it was a big moment for, for our team. So uh, I was just really excited. We got the win, but nothing personal about whatever journey you've taken. That's that, that struck me as, as much as a team person that you clearly are and your teammates reaction to your success shows that. Um, but what nothing personal was going through your mind as you realized you threw three touchdowns and a big victory for the 49ers on national television. Uh, I think the biggest personal thing for me was just the fact that I had gotten to the 49ers and wanted to learn the system as much as I could. And uh, I had plenty of time to do that on the practice squad and things like that. And uh, so it's just a matter of time before I got my opportunity, and that's what I kept thinking after the game. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.